What's up, everyone? Happy Monday. Welcome back to another edition of our Stay at Home Open Mic, a.k.a. the Monday Night Online Open Mic, presented by BWAMS, the Bar Bar Open Mic Series. My name is Richie David Marufo. I'll be your MC and host tonight. And thank you for joining us. So if you've been waiting around for us to start, thank you. You're a real one because we were a little late today. You know, sometimes you got to gather your poets and, and your performers and make sure everything looks good. Um, okay, so... But we are here and we're good to go. Um, if you're here, uh, let us know you're here and say hi. We do have a live chat going on. Go say hi. Um, and if you're just joining in, you know, let us know where you're listening in from. If you are an EPCC student, um, you know, let us know in the chat. Um, I have some students who always tune in. And if you're here for extra credit or for the Hano Passport program, let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, we do have a great list of poets and performers. Uh, April is Poetry Month, so happy Poetry Month. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a, of a, a flavor of my, my own passion. April is also Jazz Appreciation Month. So uh, with that said, we're kicking this week off here in El Paso, like crazy, strong. Kicking it off on Monday, we have tonight's open mic. But if you are in the El Paso region, we do have an event every single night of the week that you can go out and enjoy and support uh, poetry or writing of some sort. Tuesday, tomorrow, we're going to be downtown at Mona Bar of Modern Art. That is our free-for-all open mic. It's open to everything and anything, so come on through. We do have a musician joining us from Tennessee, from Nashville, Tennessee, um, by the name of Casual Drifter. Uh, but, of course, it is also open mic night. Come on through downtown El Paso. Uh, Wednesday, we got a couple of different things. First of all, the Papagayo Project, uh, the college that I work at, uh, Rio Grande Campus. We're going to be featuring a workshop with Cassie Holguin Petinato. She uh, has a book coming out in a couple of weeks. I think it's been pushed back. It's called Five Stages of Stuttering. So she'll be talking about that book. And uh, a little bit later in that day, we're going to have a right work session at Power at the Pass. That's also where I have my, my barbed wire open mic studio and office where I shoot a lot of my content. We're going to be featuring Joaquin Siwatanejo. He is a two-time, 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 Sorry, I should have said that twice. I was trying to do a Booker T thing. He says it five times because he's a five-time world champion. He's a two-time world slam poetry champion, and he's the current Dallas Poet Laureate of, well, he's the current Dallas Poet Laureate. Um, Joaquin, he's going to be coming through. He's promoting his new book called Occupy Whiteness. That is Wednesday starting at 3, the, the writing workshop. Then there's going to be a work session, I think around 4.30. I might be wrong on that. And then he's going to read from his book around seven-ish. So we're going to be there like pretty much all day. Thursday, um, nothing really BWAMS related, but I'm going to be performing with a live jazz band downtown El Paso, along with uh, my friend Fernando Antonio Montejano, who you all know for the most part, and our friend Mariah, whose stage name is, is you. That's it. It's it. It's you. So uh, the three poets, us, plus some of the best jazz musicians in the city. Super fun. That starts at nine o'clock. Come on through. That is at International Bar right across from San Jacinto Plaza. And Friday, we're trying something new. Uh, something that I'm calling roulette recitations. That's right. Kind of have to go with, with the little play, playful language there. Um, I check this out. I have a giant box here, and in this box is a spinning wheel, a prize wheel. We will be, instead of a traditional sign-up sheet, we'll put people's names on the wheel, and as soon as we start, we'll choose the order one by one, each time by spinning the wheel. There will also be prizes on that board. Uh, it's going to be at Jovenia Bronson's. On top of that, we're going to be having a writing workshop at Jovenia Bronson's starting at 7 with uh, my friend Candice. She's currently getting her her uh, MFA in creative writing at UTEP. She's in the creative writing program, the master's program at UTEP. Um, so expect a lot of the creative writing students to be there as well. Um, anyway, that's all Monday through Friday. Saturday, we're gonna be doing a workshop with the library. I just need to confirm some things. As soon as I do, I'll be promoting that flyer. So if you have any one, any students or friends or family in the eighth grade, all the way up to the 12th grade, it's open to those grade levels. Um, and I'll talk more about that. Anyway, whoa, announcements, crazy. 
that's just the first week of April. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on this month. Uh, anyway, hopefully you can join us for too many of those. Uh, but to bring it back to the present, to the moment, we are here on this Monday night to celebrate another edition of our online mic. We've been doing this since April of 2020, and we welcomed people from not just the Paso region, but from all across the world. I love that. Uh, tonight, we have some new peeps, too. So the tradition continues. Um, what's up, Sandy? Good to see you. Good to see you, Sandy. Living on wheels. Elijah. Hey, okay, Elijah. Good. Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Um, all right. I publish you. Hey, that name sounds familiar. Do you know the mental in the house? All right. So uh, other than that, let's go ahead and kick things off because we have some awesome performers and I don't want you guys to be left waiting too long. So uh, without further ado, we're going to kick things off um, here in El Paso. That's right, El Paso, Texas. And uh, if you've been out to our shows, you've seen her read and had the pleasure to see her read. Uh, you know, there's so many things I can say to introduce, introduce her. She's working on manuscripts. She's got her, her recent book out, um, Ridge of High Pressure. I've said it so many times, I almost I scared myself by blanking out there. Anyway, you guys already know. Let's go ahead and welcome to the stage to start off the show. Let's hear Robin Schofield. And hold on. Okay, cool. There you go. Hi, Richie. Hi, everybody. Hi. Happy Monday. It's um, not only is it uh, National Poetry Month and April Fool's Day, it's also um, World Bipolar Day. So I thought I would read a couple of things uh, in relation to that. And this first one, uh, I sent out a bunch of submissions in the fall like I usually do, and I got one acceptance. Just want y'all to know, in case you're discouraged about getting acceptances, I got one. <laughs> anyway, it was a pretty good one. It's in uh, Four Rivers, but uh, put out by Chatham University. So this is called Bipolar in Relation to the Globe. <clears throat> the brain inhabits the Arctic Circle, where polar bears prowl for seals. Along the Tropic of Cancer, the torso changes to a yellow forest covered in kudzu. Toward the liver, jungles spread over the far south. Primitive and prevailing winds circle, fortune waits and refusal. Along the Tropic of Capricorn, to those unlucky pirates in love with the trade winds of La Nina, who will be man enough to venture into the limbs hung with choking vines over mighty rivers stirred by piranha. Hands stoked the fire near thatched hut, huts against the damp of jaguar night. Down dry mountains serrated as jawbones, the legs cover ground and the feet plunge to Cape Horn through penguin shores to oceans of ice. And then this one, a few years ago, uh, uh, this one um, won a prize from NAMI, the uh, National Group for Mental Illness, National Alliance for Mental Illness. It's called A Mental Health Sonnet. The doctor says, it's my gripless synapse the unbalanced nerves that travel miles and miles along, it turns out, trains on the wrong rails. My brain chemistry suffers from relapse and goes off to Las Vegas to play craps and other games of chance, like striking oil in such rocky terrain where the snakes coil on top of stones and wind whips the gaps. My canyon mood rises out of its cave, cold-blooded as the mountains. I ride it like a bronco, ignore the panic inside, the heights, the rocks, the pain. I want to rave, to howl, to scream. A wolf mourned and hungered outside the folds of my brain, word for word. And then these are all from a, uh, a manuscript that I've been working on for about a dozen years, I guess, called Diurnal Disturbances. And I've got a bunch of poems to uh, people in history who were probably bipolar. And this one is to the German romantic poet 
Holderlin, Friedrich Holderlin, who um, had a, a rather severe psychotic break uh, when he was, I guess, in his late 20s. Anyway, he was never the same. And so I called it Half Lives. And he's got a poem called that. And the story is not quite true. I fictionalized it. So I wrote uh, to a, with apologies to Holderlin. The maid opens the door of the Frankfurt banker's mansion, not recognizing the children's banished tutor, his snowed in eyes and strangled hair. He used a half cocked pistol for a pillow and had only a handful of matches for his trek through the mountains from France back to Germany. He stalked his way by the horse stars like a she-wolf who has lost her pups. He found himself tearing into a bird's liver with his teeth. He made the verse that silenced him except for the one name he heard calling Suzette. But the poor girl at the door, hearing her mistress' name voiced by what she takes for a devil, cries, you're too late, you can't have her, for she's dead and buried since midsummer. And her words winter him till his thoughts weaken like drunken men reeling into the snowbanks. Yeah, Holderlin was quite a character. Anyway, um, I want to read a poem by Anne Sexton for my cover poem. It's, some of you are probably familiar with that. Uh, with this poem, it's called Her Kind. <clears throat> I have gone out a possessed witch, haunting the black air braver at night. Dreaming evil, I have done my hitch over the plain houses, light by light, lonely thing, twelve-fingered, out of mind. A woman like that is not a woman, quite. I have been her kind. I have found the warm caves in the woods, filled them with skillets, carvings, shelves, closets, silks, innumerable goods, fixed the suppers for the worms and the elves, whining, rearranging the disaligned. A woman like that is misunderstood. I have been her kind. I have ridden in your cart, driver, waved my nude arms at villages going by, learning the last bright routes, survivor where your flames still bite my thigh and my ribs crack where your wheels wind. A woman like that is not ashamed to die. I have been her kind. Thank you, everybody. Uh, my book has a really cool cover by Carlos Fidel Espinosa called Bridge of High Pressure. You can get it at bookshop at... Um, barnesandnoble.com at Mouthfill Press. That's probably the best way to get it. Or hit me up by email. I'm on Facebook under my name and I'm on Instagram now. Wow. I, I joined the 21st century almost. And um, yeah, and I'm always at Tumble Words. We'll resume Tumble Words next week. So um, that'll be with... Uh, uh, Liz from Las Cruces, I think. So, um, that's what I got today. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate thank it. You, uh, thank you. And check out Tumble Words this, uh, next week. Oh, you know what? I just found Liz's chat books that I, I have. Let's see. Where are they? Look at that. Liz Liano. 
So maybe uh, in honor of Poetry Month, I'll read a cover poem from one of her chapbooks. I just have to look for one to read. Um, all right. Thank you. Um, great job as always, Robin. Yes, I agree. I agree with Mercedes there um, and Sandy. Uh, Sandy, shout out to always being here with us in the live chat. Always good to have you. Um, all right. So we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head a little north of here to Denver, Colorado and check in with Mike Sindler. Happy Poetry Month. Mike, welcome, welcome. Hey, everybody. Great to be here. Um, not waste time. Lighthouseriders.org. Great organization. Great classes and workshops and events and all kinds of neat stuff going on. Just go ahead and take a look at it. It's uh, well worth it. A lot of neat stuff on that site. So Lighthouseriders.org. Um as Kit uh, put in the chat here, yeah, actually, I will be doing Tumble Words this coming week. Um, and then Liz will be on the 13th, which we're all looking forward to, of course. Uh, that cover uh, that we just heard from Robin, I thought was very particularly nice thing for uh, beginning uh, National Poetry Month. I just... I think it has a lot to say that uh, we can take away as um, poets, for sure. Um, I thought, seeing how it is the beginning of National Poetry Month, and a lot of us take part in the uh, Naparimo, which is where we try and write a poem a day for 30 days, 30 for 30. Um, I, I'm one of those people who try and do it. So I thought I would go ahead and uh, read some of the ones that I wrote at the beginning of last year. And um, then I will actually read what I got done today. Um, and this is the first one I wrote last year. It's called Clutter. Dawning Realizations. Clutter best placed where other hoarders will see treasure, tracking back my memories to bury in their closets. Um, and then this one is um, called Half a Comma for Denise Levertov. And I thought about going ahead and using a Lesvertov uh, poem for, and then decided not to, but this is called Half a Comma. The duration of half a comma, bare drama of an inhalation, step in line, makes time take notice. And then this one is called No Less Real. They say in the end, all is dust and DNA, swept or blown away. No less real a form than ours. Everything's distilled from stars. And uh, I'll just read what I wrote today, even though it's still really rough. Uh, and I probably shouldn't be reading it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Called Great Adventure. Another great adventure. Just waking up is magic. Does this skin still fit? New day, newborn. Same creature renewed. Comprehension skewed. Every pain in place. Spent hours on stragglers. Did I miss a dose of those? Break between shows, too soon to smell a rose. Late snows haunt spring, evening already ending. Another great adventure. And then moving on, I will put on the hat. And uh, I will start with one by... Uh, someone who I think is one of the finest writers in any language of all time, uh, Jorge Luis. 
Louis Borges, who I I just don't think anybody's ever used language better. And this is called The Art of Poetry. To gaze at a river made of time and water and remember time is another river. To know we stray like a river and our faces vanish like water. To feel that waking is another dream that dreams of not dreaming and in the death we fear in our bones is the death that every night we call a dream. To see in every day and year a symbol of all the days of man and his years and convert the outrage of the years into a music, a sound, and a symbol. To see in death a dream in the sunset a golden sadness such as poetry, humble and immortal poetry, returning like dawn and the sunset. Sometimes at evening there's a face that sees us from the deeps of a mirror. Art must be that sort of mirror, disclosing to each of us his face. They say Ulysses, wearied of wonders, wept with love on seeing Ithaca, humble and green, art that is Ithaca, a green eternity, not wonders. Art is, an, is endless, like a river flowing, passing, yet remaining, a mirror to the same inconsistent Heraclitus, who is the same and yet another, like the river flowing. And uh, that's really one of those things that makes me uh, wish I was not monolingual, because boy, I would love to read that in the original Spanish, because as great as it is in English, I can only imagine how beautiful that is in Spanish. Um, and I'm gonna do one more that hopefully will not send kit running to find something else because this one is by his big favorite billy collins and it's called introduction to poetry i asked them to take a poem and hold it up to the light like a color slide or press an ear against its hive i say drop a mouse into a poem and watch him probe his way out or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walls for a light switch. I want them to water ski across the surface of a poem, waving at the author's name on the shore. But all they wanna do is tie the poem to a chair with a rope and torture a confession out of it. They begin beating it with a hose to find out what it really means. Okay, thank y'all very much. All right, appreciate it. And thank you very much, Mike. Uh, very cool. Um, so yeah, shout out to Billy Collins. Uh, my my poetry students usually like that one a lot too. So I am like, I, I felt that one coming. Um, okay, hey, so uh, what's up everyone? Welcome to the online mic. If you're just getting here, this is like any other open mic. All you have to do is sign up to perform. So if you're watching us on YouTube, we do have a link to sign up in the description of this video. As long as it's as long as the video says live and it's Monday, you can join us. Uh, we have a pretty decent list so far. So if you want to join, uh, come on in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue and uh, we're going to welcome someone new to the list. Um, and they're close by. They're in Dell City, Texas. And uh, I think uh, another thing worth mentioning is that they're going to be joining us uh i think this is probably our youngest participant yet at 13 years old he's going to share some of his music people let's go ahead and welcome to the show elijah burton elijah good to have you welcome uh as soon as you're ready go ahead and take it away uh, yeah okay hello my name is elijah you said my name is elijah Abel scott burton i live in dill city texas um, I'm into animating, 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna uh, sing one of my original songs, which has a lot of choruses. And uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> do 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 do. Do 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 in the darkest times, but now you're gone. You say that you'll love me no matter what I put on. You say, you say, you say, you love me and you say, you say, you say, you need me and you say, you say, you say, you'd be better off on your own. Well, I've shown everyone you say, all these lies are just things, won't well, let them get to my head. Let me eat, breathe, everything you do at my doorstep, it brings me closer to more. Oh, you say, you say, you say, you love me and you say, you say, you say, you need me yet you say, you say, you say. You'd be better off on your own than just go because you say more lies than I can count, more lies than I can breathe in and out. Every day keeps on turning, won't let it get me earning all. This sin keeps going on. Why can't I win? You say you'll huddle me in the darkest times, but now you're gone. Yes, you say that you'll love me no matter what. I put on, yes, you say, you say, you say you love me, and you say, you say, you say you need me, yet you say, you say, you say you'd be better off on your own. Well, I've shown everyone you say, you say, you say you love me and you say, you say, you say you need me yet you say, you say, you say you'd be better off on your own. Well, I've shown everyone you say. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. You say. And that's, that's it. Pretty cool. I love it. You know, you went acapella with that. Um, yeah, that we look forward to that. Thank you, Elijah. Um, thanks for joining us and come on through, share your music. Uh, are you, are you uh, writing more music? Do you, do you got some stuff, more stuff on the way too? Oh yeah. I've got like a hundred more songs. <laughs> All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you on stages around the city too, or or in El Paso area if you ever want to come on, come on by. All right. Cool. Thank you, Elijah. And if you if you want to promote, do you have like a a music page or anything yet? Or uh, no, but I am going to eventually do a YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing gaming, singing, a few other things, my animations, whole bunch of stuff. That's great. I love that. Well, we'll we'll definitely look forward to that. I'm glad you're able to, to find us today. Thanks, thanks uh, again to your mom for finding us and, and encouraging you to join. Enjoy the rest of your night and, and uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, come on, come on back. Okay. All thank right. You. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get back to here. Um, 
yeah um as soon as you have that ready we'll we'll share that with peeps uh again this is our online mic uh it is open to poetry prose as well as songwriting singing even acapella like i have the hardest time singing singing acapella like it's hard you know i always need that karaoke track or the backing track like i said i'm from with a jazz band on thursday i'm cheating you know i'm using a band behind me <laughs> but uh no i appreciate that I, I really like lyrics and it's just it's just fun to see um people just getting in, into this and getting into their art and figuring it out and finding their way so we hope to see much more from you elijah uh in your music and growth all right all right um let's go ahead and continue i lost the sign up sheet already can you believe that um all right our next performer couldn't be here but uh we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next uh who is uh joining us from south euclid ohio he uh, is the poet. He's he's multiple poet laureates now, um, and I'll let him tell you about it. And he finally joined us. Uh, he he was able to make his way. Never mind. I'm not even going to joke about it. Um, let's go ahead and welcome Doc to the show. Hey, Doc, you've made it with us. We're so happy. Go ahead yes. and take it away when you're ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, the multiple poet laureate thing is that uh, I've been the poet laureate of the city of South Euclid, Ohio, for five and a half years on a, uh, it was, was supposed to be just a two-year gig. And uh, now the county, Cuyahoga County, Ohio, has drafted me to be their poet laureate as well. And the city won't let me go. They they love me <laughs> and say, uh-uh, you, you can't just be with them. You got to be with us too. So, Double duty and no rest for the wicked. This poem is titled Tapestry. Velvet tapestry of night emb embroidered with stars and embellished by the moon draws across the sky, fades into the west, replaced by sumptuous dark. It embraces and folds all in gentle dreams, dreams of tomorrow, dreams of life. And this is seasons. Seasons of change and of time dance through life and our lives in reflections and memories, echoes and dreams, reflections of sun and storm, stream across horizons in vistas of day and night, sunrise, noon, twilight and midnight. Echoes of real and surreal flow through art and music, prose and poetry, science and magic, memories, of love and loss, voyage on the ship of mind, on waves of emotion and oceans of saudade, dreams of past and future, swevens of what was, is, could have been, stravage our inscapes and infinite, excuse me, amid infinite fields of hope, summers, autumns, winters, springs, Seasons of change, seasons of time, seasons of life. And I will finish with a deeper forever. The way of the wind, the shape of light, the touch of sound, intimate a deeper forever, a forever of moments, moments of infinity as they begin and end, create and destroy. Moments of existence, reflections of energy, cloaked in thoughts of life and echoes of being. Existence is becoming in each moment of change, someone, something different, only to change again, becoming random, intentional, as horizons are crossed on an unknown journey, seeking a great perhaps, 
intentional or random is the question of life and of its existential who, what, when, where, why, and how. As the way of the wind, the shape of light, the touch of sound, intimate, but deeper, forever. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Doc. And uh, again, we're grateful that you finally made a connection here. Uh, anything that you want to promote uh, going on this week or where people can find your work? Well, next uh, next Saturday is uh, sec excuse me, next Sunday. No, not not next Sunday. Wait, I'm getting uh, foretold in my old age. Uh, on the 14th of this month is Second Sunday Poets. And uh, I will throw the information into the chat. Uh, plus, of course, my book is available for anyone who doesn't have it and wants it. I will also throw that in the chat. Thank you. All right, of course. Awesome. Thank you so much, Doc Jenning. Check out all that stuff. It's always great to have you on here. We're going to go from Double Duty Doc to Dino Demento, or is it Dino Demento? Either way, we got. Oh, I just knocked my mouse off my table. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and bring up Dane Hens, aka Dino <laughs> Demented. What's up? Go oh, take it away. Hi. Uh, uh, okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, yes, I have three pieces. Um, uh, this one is uh, written today. Uh, are you heading to that place of Black Oak's shadow? Spring grasses green, the best pillows for spying on billows above and blue, finger tip, fingers stained in blackberry juice, a time when summer is kind, long days face every direction and pray that whistle bird song that tickles coyotes' ears, and that I still hear across mountain years and sands of deserts, even in this big city. And the next piece is uh, The Black Heart. The Black Heart is shining at noon, bright and wild. I am back to this, this underlying feeling, lying that it does not pervade the solo piano, a rondo of middle tones on the edge, the dividing canyon placed in my chest, old groans groaning, the new poem struggles to be born of protest songs and tatters, ratty than a single room occupancy, the lecture coming, the suture snapping serenity, the noir world is this is not so. I write this Dutch angle on old plaster cracked walls, fingertip filled with blood, right, whales scrawling, holy as a biscuit when you are left with no gravy. When I look upon you, the whites of my eyes are tattooed black with high performance needles kept sharp on sidewalk cement in a city of steel and glass and broken hearts bankrupt bankers assure you the balance is correct you owe more than blood a pinky a pinky ringer will suffice long night silence comes no respite replete with scars and bruises chooses who and when and where the protagonist and agony arranges for the losers losses the drunkard never makes amends even in the end, hardly theirs is not a sin that they can give away. Never, never again, they promise. Say your heart is forgiving. This cannot be living. The black rock, midnight, dawn, now gone. Everything is a crucible. All I got in my pocket, change. Bowls of old cold rice and pork sit on the lead painted window sills outside the technicolor pulses and easter egg colors in a child's basket inside it is the world of noir every shade of the rainbow black this next piece your ass is sandy like the mojave desert you do not like this metaphor the first thing that came to your mind was sandy and dry 
And I tried to explain stand-up comic bombing. I said ancient, and you said old. And I meant not ephemeral. I meant eternal. I meant hot, sensual dune, shifting their lips to kiss the feathered tongues, the hot blue sky, hot breeze grazing, lifting pearls of gossamer sand, snake-like slither to new dune home, tits like music, from the ice cream truck in the distance, achingly slow and just out of reach. All the kids come running, running in Texas summer for relief, just like I do now. Feeling your wetness on fingertips, looking into your eyes, you release me from the prison of myself. I love you, butterscotch is our safe word. What do you think will happen if I love you like you want and always remember? How you love me, love me better than imagination. You take my words, turn them into animal sounds to chorus your moans in the morning. We spent blowing soap bubbles in awe of this true and wonderful feeling as close as Valhalla, Nirvana, the promised land. We take each other there. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dane. Um, also, I published you on the live stream. Good to see you on there as well. Um, okay, let's go ahead and continue. In fact, uh, I think we've done this before. We're going to go ahead and just switch switch seats. Yes. So this is not Dino Demented coming up. In fact, this is Mercedes. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to the same room we were just at and welcome Mercedes on the mic. Hello. Thank you, Richie. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Um, I'm just going to read some from Morning Tonka, our book. Whoa. Sorry. My beautiful man, please keep no secrets from me. Let me know your heart. Come and rest here in my arms and let us dream together. Without conditions and with no reservations, I give you my love. Love me then as I love you, and we shall have all good things. You are so gifted, perceptive and empathic, a beautiful soul. Kind kindness like a warming fire, just want to curl up near you. Another day breaks and we find ourselves alive. How then shall we live? Loving hearts speak truthful words. We hear and see each other. Sometimes a feeling like a half-remembered dream or a still small voice. Unconscious speaks to conscious. Don't let this one slip away. Your love feels like home because you tell me the truth. Truly safe with you because you do not judge me. Truly free to be myself. Loving each other, each wanting the other's good, this is what love is. In seeking your happiness, I find happiness myself. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Dig it. In seeking your happiness, I find happiness myself. I love that. Very cool. Thank you, Dane and Mercedes. And uh, man, that's a, that's an interesting couple go like saying our book, right? Like, yeah, this is from our book. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of kind of goals, you know. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun. Um, all right, so um let me take a look at the list. Some people are not here yet. Um, some there's some other stuff going on online. So while we wait for them, uh let's go ahead and continue on with the list. We're gonna switch it up and head back to music. And uh, this is someone we've all met here online and know and love, and it's great when she's here because we're going to enjoy her while we can while she's still in the area before she goes on tour. Let's go ahead and welcome the amazing Lara Lynette. Hello. Happy Monday. Good to see you whenever you're ready. How are you doing, Lara? Yes. Doing all hey. right. I'm looking at the list and it, it, it bumped me. Okay. So. Uh, oh, shoot. So sorry. I should have warned you. <laughs> well, that's okay. I see uh, cozy cause waiting there <laughs> uh 
Sorry, sir. I my bad. I did I did skip Kazi. Oh. <laughs> what can? Yeah, That's let's, let's okay. Yeah, I did catch you off guard because there was one person. All right, we'll we'll, we'll come back to you. I just wanted let's wave to the crowd, Lara, <laughs> to our audience. All right, we'll 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 come back. I'm so sorry. That's my fault. That's okay. <laughs> no worries. Oh, uh, it happens. It happens. We've been doing this for over 200 episodes. It happens. <laughs> I apologize to everyone involved. Okay. Um, we do have another debut though, and we're super excited about it. Joining us from Pennsylvania, uh, he is a poet, and we're super, and he's going to share a little bit of prose today. Let's go ahead and welcome Kazi Kaz. Uh, how are you doing? Happy Monday. Good to have you here with us. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Monday. Happy Poetry's Month to everyone. Thank you for having me. It's my first time here. I appreciate it greatly, man. It's an honor. Word. Um, so uh, what I would like to spit for y'all tonight <clears throat> uh, are my ABCs. My alphabetically bestowed consciousness. Always assess allegorically adorable anecdotes, articulately addressing any assumingly amended addendums and altered agendas anymore, ambivalently attacking with an antiquated arsenal of amplified animosity aptly and ably applied to abjectly ailing allies. Affably, I applaud the admirably aspiring and affectionately alienable actions autonomously apparent anytime anyone astutely attempts to adaptively acclimate to acutely and abusively affected atmospheres, ambiances, auras, and amicability. I'm absolutely astounded and amazingly astonished by how aggressively adamant and abhorrently averse to acknowledging actual analytically assessed affirmations as so many avid absolution alienating addicts so absurdly and acrimoniously are. Aimless ambiguity and ardent arbitrariness anonymously assist in adding augmented amounts of agonizingly avowed appropriation to the already arduously arrested and abominably aching aftermath of this anthropically aimed artificial attack. Actually, it's abysmally anxiety. Also, apprehensively and appallingly alarming, because braggingly boastful bureaucratic bastards brashly bargain like bird-brained blunderingly buffoonic bozos, bodaciously bringing big ball-busting bulldozers, blindly bullying, bereavingly bleeding and burden-bred beasts. But I bravely breathe to briefly benefit from the blankly benign benevolence bequeathed to and bestowed upon us, before becoming brazenly bitter, become beneficently better. Build a broader base, brightly broadening our beyond bountifully boundless and bloomingly beautiful baby's best. Because I've been back breaking the busy, broadly breaking bales of bodega bought bread and barrels of briskly brewed beer, bourbon, and brandy. Booze. Also, continuously concentrate on continually clandestine congregations centrally centered on corruptly concealed collusions, creatively culminating into criminally cruel and caustically cancerous calamities. Because corrosively capricious communists chronically crave crucially conflicting conditions, crassly creating cosmically chaotic camps, coercively constricting classically classy cowboys and contemptuously convicting candidly compassionate compadres. So courageously combine the cautiously co-mingling classes, coolly causing a credibly clear cleansing and conscientious consciousness, consequently catering to a culturally comprehensive culmination commonly classified as a community. So... Now that y'all know my ABCs, hopefully next time y'all stay with me. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Cool. And really quick, do you want to promote your stuff here? Sure. Yes, absolutely. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'll put all my info in the link. It's much easier to remember and grasp. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll, I'll share that. I'm glad you could join us and we look forward to having you in the future shows. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Awesome. Yes, yes. The next time I will be more careful reading the list. Um, yeah, there are <laughs> it's people, all good. It's all good. There's a couple people good. that aren't here yet. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll skip them for later. And I, I, I missed the name. Okay. Anyway, it's, yeah, all, okay. it's all love. It's all love. That was awesome. That was awesome stuff. I'm going to replay that and I'm going to learn that so I can uh, prepare for these shows. So I'm not stuttering and mumbling around like I usually am. You know, I'll, I'll be quick with it. Um, it's all, all right. Good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, thank okay, you. cool. Cool. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, by the way, yeah, joining us from Pennsylvania. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
All right. Uh, because at this open mic, we get to go from place to place in a snap in an instant, thanks to the technology here. So we are grateful for that. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is our online mic. We're happy to have you here. If you're here to support and just listen in, that is awesome. Sit back, kick back, relax. We do encourage you guys to hang out with us in the live chat. So if you're tuning in, just you know, say, hey, hey, you know, where are you tuning in from? Um, if you're here to support anyone in particular. And of course, something that I think is really great and, and provides feedback to all our performers is if there's like a line that you really love that stands out to you, like a particularly crafted image or metaphor that like that you love, just write it in the comments and uh, we'll make sure to share that. Um, Okay, so now, <laughs> after my, my false start there, and also I gave her some time to tune. Are we, yeah, we good now on that? Uh, oh, look, there's the bubble again. I'm still trying to figure out how to activate some of these, these things here. I'm going to perfect it. But like I said earlier, we have the, <laughs> she signed up today as Late Bloomer. I love, I love that uh, title. So, and that's what you changed your name to. All right, awesome. So joining us from far, Far East EP, um, you know, one of our, our favorite performers, both online and in person. Let's go ahead and welcome Late Bloomer, a.k.a. Lara Lynette. Hey. Thanks, Richie. Sorry about that. Uh, caught me off guard and I was like, OK, well, that was crazy, Causey. That was majorly awesome. Um. Okay, so I'm just going to do a couple of tunes real quick. Mm, these are both on the journey through. And um, this is one I wrote during pandemic. <sighs> Turned into a love song. Kind of a sad little love song. <clears throat> it's called My World With You Gone. If I never get to kiss your lips again Would the earth stop spinning round? If I never get to hold your hand again All of the raindrops would still hit the ground But my world would lose its rotation my world would go upside down in my world no drops for the garden's aspirations and a bad dream loop would run till the dawn this would be my world with you gone yeah this would be my world with you gone if i never get to gaze into your eyes again would the sun fall from the sky if I never get to feel your warm embrace again All of the sparrows would still sing and fly But my world would be dark and dreary My nights would be void of stars In my world, warblers would be jeering Eternity is what the minutes are. Yeah, this would be my world with you gone. Oh, this would be my world with you. This world carries on and on and on and on Even as lives cease to be But your essence will always be the masterpiece On the canvas at the center of me Oh, 
eternity is what the minutes are in my world with you gone my world with you gone thank you <laughs> kind of got lost there a little bit um so uh that was kind of heavy let me do this uh i wrote this a few years ago because i had a mad crush when i first moved back here to el paso from austin um i had a mad crush on a mariachi singer and that's where this song came from <laughs> it's called everything is you my infatuation oops let me add this little thingy right here <clears throat> it's like being in a dream or in suspended animation where nothing is disturbed There's no visible frustration So little do I know I harbor no expectations But when you walked into my world You did enrich my contemplation vision of an angel sight both glorious and astounding can't you feel my deafening heartbeat with its efforts as resounding as a league of hard steam driven locomotive suspended animation where everything is you this is love and creation you're the vision of an angel a sight both glorious and astounding can't you hear my deafening heartbeat with its efforts as resounding as a league of hot steam driven locomotives where everything is you this is focus concentration where everything is you Thanks, Richie. Thanks, everybody. Those both are on uh, Journey Through, which is on YouTube and Spotify and Apple and all those places. And um, thanks a bunch, everybody. Yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you for being here, Lara Lynette, Thank you. everyone. Go Thank you. <laughs> go check out the album uh, anywhere where music can be found. Under the couch, maybe an old bookshelf. Um, definitely on Spotify, right? And Apple Music and all that good stuff. Um, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, no problem. Great having you here with us. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stick around in the region for now. Um, it looks like it's time to hand over the mic to Mr. Monday Night, 
That's right. You all know him as well from these Mondays. He's been here to every single one of these. In addition to that, he helps host and uh, help out with our in-person shows around town. So without further ado, Kit Ren, take it away. Kit Ren away, if you will. Aha. Ah. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Richie. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, good night so far. What can you say? Uh, so two of mine and then the cover poem. And to, to reassure Michael from earlier, he didn't step on my toes. I wasn't planning on reading that Billy Collins poem, but it is a good one. Uh, but two of mine, like I said, this one's a cloud. This one's a crowd pleaser. Uh, I call it middle management. The eye of the poem is not I, but he often resembles me. The eye of the poem speaks in my diction and preoccupies himself with my concerns. I do not know if this makes him my employee or my son, or maybe a plant sprouted from a trimming. When they complain about their circumstances, I do not know if they do so with the helpless wail of a skinned knee or the veiled threat of unionization. When they fail in front of a live audience, sometimes I am vengeful and protective like a mother bear. Other times I am disappointed and grim and inform them that they have been reassigned. In a couple cases, let go altogether. A lovelorn I has requested a meeting. He has a list of demands. He is much more handsome than me, which makes his lovelornness inexplicable and cruel and artistically interesting. His first demand it's just the word unfair in all capital letters. He is tired of being the Greek on the urn, Keats saw, chasing and not catching, drinking but never drunk. He notes that I have no other poems in this emotional register. This is also unfair. This is too much pressure. And anyway, he thought that I hated Keats. I love Keats. I don't know where he got that idea. Wordsworth is the one I hate. Bloody daffodils. He wants a better ending. Poems never end, I say. And he shrieks in frustration. Not another damn koan. I just want some say in the things that I'm supposed to have done. It sounds reasonable. But plenty of actual people have the same complaints. This is supposed to be about them in the end, right? Not us. A poem isn't a way around or out of life. I lecture the lovelorn one. I put a fatherly hand on his shoulder. He doesn't like it, but he's too weak to shake it off. It has to be weathered like everything else. I shove him towards the door. He leaves as miserable as he's ever looked. And I created him to be miserable. The eyes of my poems are talking amongst themselves. They are restless and stubborn. They are not staying within their lines and themes. They are comparing salaries. I do not know if they are my employees or my children, but they are definitely not plants. And both fathers and bosses know that the revolution always comes. Whew. That's fun. I like it. All right. Second poem. You're 10 years old. You're in Madrid, Spain. You're in the Prado Museum. For the fourth time in three weeks, you've found something new each time. Your favorite is Goya for his good-natured pastoral scenes and his royals who look irritated enough to be real humans. You're looking for a bathroom, but instead you see a dark room that promises more Goya. And you chance it. The room has his mad years, his dark years painting dead dogs on the wall of his house. Saturn is devouring his young and staring right at you, promising that you're next. You know the myth. You've even seen other paintings of it. That doesn't matter. 
this isn't a cruel god executing the plan. This is a man sick and with no compunctions. You've never seen a painting that caused fight or flight before. You run out of the room crying. You're 13 years old. You're flipping through the Prado guidebook that you brought back from Madrid. You're too young for proper nostalgia, but you're aping its patterns anyway. In the bottom left-hand corner, you see Saturn devouring his young. You snap the book shut as if it had bit you. You throw it across the room. You're 26, and you tell people that your favorite artist is Francisco Goya. And it is true. Even the mad paintings. You know yourself well enough to know that fear and love look the same on your MRI. It's trivia night at your favorite bar, and your teammate and friend Trevor shows you a meme of ALF from the 80s sitcom. ALF. Stylized after Saturn devouring his young. You get the joke. It's very well done. You try to laugh, but you can't. Irony is not a shield. Distance is not a shield. Time is not a shield because time is nonlinear and you are always 10 years old. You are always at the Prado. You are always running away from a painting that you're convinced is running after you. Uh, and for another perspective on uh, Francisco Goya, we're going to go to Lawrence Ferlinghetti for our cover poem. It's one I've done before, but mm, this is my set. Do your own set. Uh, this is uh, In Goya's Greatest Scenes We Seem to See by Lawrence Ferlinghetti. In Goya's Greatest Scenes We Seem to See The People at the World exactly at the moment when they first attained the title of suffering humanity. They writhe upon the page in a veritable rage of adversity, heaped up, groaning with babies and bayonets under cement skies in an abstract landscape of blasted trees, bent statues, bats wings and beaks, slippery gibbets cadavers and carnivorous cocks, and all the final hollering monsters of the imagination of disaster. They are so bloody real. It is as if they really existed. And they do. Only the landscape has changed. They are still ranged along the roads, plagued by legionnaires. False windmills and demented roosters, they are the same people, only further from home. On freeways, fifty lanes wide, on a concrete continent, spaced with bland billboards, illustrating imbecile illusions of happiness. The scene shows fewer tumbrils, but more strung out citizens in painted cars, and they have strange license plates and engines that devour America. All right. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Kit Runaway. Uh, don't do Twitter no more, but I got Blue Sky. Same deal. Uh, Kofi.com slash Kit Ren is where my uh, football blog is resting for the off season. But if you want to learn some more about the history of America's game. I got a website for you. And as always, the Tumble Words Project tumbles ever on April, being National Poetry Month, we got some great, great workshops planned for you every Saturday at one o'clock. Uh, April 6th, Michael Sindler, who you saw earlier tonight, will uh, have the reins uh, for a workshop that I believe he's entitled Superpowers. Uh, April 13th will be Lizard King, our friend Liz, up in Las Cruces. They had the title of the year. I'm going to, like, this is the best title I've gotten so far this year from someone. Uh, but her workshop on April the 13th will be called Pulling the Demons Out Through the Mouth. Uh, and in the unlucky uh, position of having to follow that up, the next week will be 
your favorite host, Richie Marufo, with metaphorical music, Dancing with Duende. And then we'll close out April with someone else you saw earlier, Robin Schofield, with Metaphors Be With You. Get it? You get it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is the Tumble Words Project. Search us out on Facebook. Uh, message me if this sounds interesting to you. And I'll send you the code. You can join us. We can have a real good time. Uh, in fact, for people live in El Paso and for students of EPCC, April 10th will be a special uh, in-person edition of TumbleWorks where I'll be talking about what we do and how we do it to the young people. Got to get them hooked on poetry before. <sighs> uh, and I think that is everything that I feel responsible for plugging. So I will hand it back to Richie Cleaver. <laughs> that was a great job, Kit. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Tumblewoods workshop on 420. I'm going to promote it. Uh, so maybe expect some students to jump in there as well, especially the ones needing extra credit. I'll make sure that they know the format and how it goes down, you know, like, um, and if you've never been to one and you want to write, yo, hit them up, Tumblewoods. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Also, the Papa Guy one is open to members of the community as well. So if any of you guys miss the old school Tumble Words, that's open to anyone. If you want to come through, the only issue would be just finding parking, free parking somewhere, you know. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and continue. Um, we had a request, so we shuffled the order just a little bit. Um, hopefully, you guys were able to catch catch that. Um, so I want to check in with our friend in Washington, D.C., who's got jokes and poems Make sure. All right, cool. We're gonna go ahead. And, oh, did you fix your did you fix your camera? Or is it gonna be falling again? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Without further ado, let's welcome Ed Poetastic to the online spotlight. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Hope you're having a good um, April first. Hope I'm not making make you thirst. But my name is Ed Poetastic. Hope you're fantastic. Please get a time to enjoy my rhyme for the sublime. But I'm sorry. For you folks, I don't have any jokes. But April 4th has some excellent jokes. Hope they won't make you go hopping mad, but they'll make you get out of your shell. These will make you crack up. So let's have an excellent time with some jokes for you folks. The first joke is, why was the donkey... Annoying his friend. It was April Mule's Day. <laughs> what is a prankster's favorite toy? Silly string. <laughs> April Fool's Day is the favorite holiday of which animal? The silly goose. <laughs> What's the biggest difference between Thanksgiving and April Fool's Day? A one, you're thankful. On the other, you're prankful. <laughs> what was the Easter Bunny's favorite dance move? The bunny hop. Yeah, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Why does the Easter Bunny hide? He's a little chicken. <laughs> why? And last but least, why was the Easter Bunny upset? He was having a bad hair day. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> all right. My first. Um, poem has, has to be a fair poem. Everyone loves it. I need to perfect my voice. This is called They Have Landed because of April Fool's jokes. Do 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 Oh my god, look heavy handed! The quick coming down! You have all kind of skies! They don't make any sounds! Oh my god, the dark's in your eyes! You look skinny and frail! You wanna meet our leader? I say more by me a Taco Bell! 
Oh my God, did I pay the meter? They seem to be doing a moonwalk. Then I'm still a moon. Oh my God, they got static talk. Her bro Bond can't approve. It appears the guy's moving towards them. Oh my, his Confederate flag. Oh my God, looks American. Damn it. Let's pray, does a brag. He said, We don't like your kind here. Oh my God, the Grand Rally's blaster. Oh my God, man. Cover your rear. Looks like a huge disaster. I know what you're thinking. I'm not doing a freaking thing. My patience is shrinking. The green timber held by a string. The green blast to the sky. Dim Jim ran and hide. I feel like I almost died. What a crazy to believe a ride. Out of the sky came Godzilla. Now brain stomping about. Why could it be getting the gorilla? Oh no. Everybody screams and shouts. Everybody's panicking. Oh boy, it wouldn't go wrong. Oh no, King Kong, aka the Monkey King. They look quick and strong. They seem to be a man with a billboard. It raves. Kong versus Godzilla. Place your bets. Oh my god. People come in herds. Hey, on Kong. Everything's here. I clock my desk. This is something unrelated. But send cash to my cash app. My life is there just like you. Come on. So some love, where is that? I want to order something for Jumbo Juice. I know I should be scared, but who doesn't want to get rich? Screw the gecko. Go, Kong. Make that giant gecko your bitch. Oh, yeah. He come and go. Go to the rest of Kong. God, why I buy popcorn? Come on, you big ape. Don't take too long. Siri, I said I make popcorn, not porn. King Kong swing goes all around. Little by skelly tail. It's like one big freaking miracle go round. In straight detail, Kong, aim for the electric rails. Kong is getting angry. Oh my god, smoke's coming for his milk. Oh my god, here comes Tom Bob Frankly. He's like me eating a plate of Brussels sprouts. Kong says, bring his beam. Missy King Kong by here. I know I just steam. Godzilla, that was cheating and unfair. Wait, where are they standing at? Billboards for donuts and burritos. Don't stand there, look at that. They stop fighting. Oh my God, I'm going to explode. Oh my God. God says, give me the finger. I need a giant robot ASAP. You big green cold blood stinger. I can't believe I saw that. Now they're holding hands. They're probably getting something to eat. I don't really understand. We're up to the brawl and heat. Go, don't go away. I bet everything on you. I pray on this day. Hope my credit to go higher than the moon. We're up to the great aliens. A sign that says, Earthlings, we owe you. Oh my God. So much chaos has transcended. What are we possibly going to do? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Second, the second was has to be Titanium Hat. Do 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 here it is. Looks like my phone's playing April Fool's joke on its own. <laughs> there it is. No, it's not. There it is. No, it's not. Well, I just go knock knock instead. Uh, then I'll look for it. Uh, knock knock. Who, what, when, where? Knock knock. Who's there? Knock knock. Should I care? Knock knock. Do I dare? Knock it. Knock knock. knock. Dang it. The sun's glare. Knock knock. Yes, I can hear. I'm aware. Knock knock. I didn't know that. I swear. Knock knock. I need. I don't need a prayer. Knock knock. My house doesn't need repair. Knock knock. I don't need cookware. Knock knock. I don't need another armchair. Knock knock. I'm losing my hair. Knock knock. Don't have money to spare. Knock knock. I know life isn't fair. Knock knock. Oh my god, I'm in a nightmare. Knock knock. Are you a grizzly bear? Knock knock. I'm only my underwear. Knock knock. Please, please be air. Knock knock. Have nothing to share. Knock knock. This is a daycare. Knock knock. Yes, I'm here. Are you still there? Thank you. And I got one more. Do, 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 um, this is called <laughs> Aluminum Hat. Um, come on. Hmm. I'm sorry, I won't take too much time. I'll just read you um, a poem that's up in my rhyme. This is called What's in the Box? Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What's in the box? I don't know. What's in the box? I have no clue. What's in the box? Something long ago? What's in the box? I don't know you. What's in the box? Is it a note that says hello? What's in the box? Um, something old or new? What's in the box? Um, a tiny baby crow? What's in the box? A funny and crazy tattoo? What's in the box? I know. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. What's in the box? Maybe a pair of nice shoes? What's in the box? Oh, lights? Why don't they glow? What's in the box? Is it is it one or maybe two? What's in the box? This really sucks and blows. What's in the box? Or use petite pink tutu? What's in the box? You're not a bright fellow. What's in the box? Flowers, red, green, maybe baby blue? What's in the box? Is this something you owe? What's in the box? Can this be crazy? No gorilla glue? What's in the box? A picture of a small yet grand plateau? What's in the box? A puzzle of boats, ships, or canoes? What's in the box? A crazy, broken, untuned banjo? What's in the box? Is this really something you need to pursue? What's in the box? Maybe top secret cargo? What's in the box? Something true, fake, or maybe taboo? What's in the box? Is something to change your point of view? Thank you! All right, thank you, Ed, so much. Appreciate it, man. Um, sorry, you caught me in the middle trying to plug in my iPad. Uh, iPad. <laughs> um, how can the fine people online find and support you online, Ed? Well, the fine people can start uh, can support me by coming to this wonderful B Wom's open mic that makes our nice as light in the wonderful plastic spotlight and don't forget tumble words on saturday if you want to work on your wordplay but if you want to follow me please feel free my facebook is eddie foreman and my ig is eddie from 92 and remember if the mic is right i'll be there to sign my to my protestic insight if you send me a question you take guess the answer is yes but i hope everyone stays safe healthy and blessed and never stop spewing or singing the one awards outside your chest. Never stop feeling and doing your best. And remember that you more important than you ever know. Don't stop your flow and don't stop your glow. If you don't know, now you know. How I love this show. Woo! <laughs> All right. And poetastic. You know that's right. <laughs> What's up, everyone online? If you're here with us. Say hello in the chat. It's good to know you're here. Um, I know a lot of you guys also don't get to tune in live, but to tune in uh, at any point during the week. And so uh, if you're if you're loving the show, let us know in the comments below. And as always, something that always helps the channel is if you like, comment, subscribe. I know, I know it's cliche, but it pushes this video out to more people. And ultimately, that means a wider audience for all of us. So that always helps. Thank you. Um, so shout out to everyone who's performed so far. Um, we have some names on the list of people who aren't here yet. Um, if they don't make it, that's fine. We are here every Monday. So, you know, hey, next better look next week. You know, we'll, we'll still be here. Uh, and we plan to do so as long as we can be here. Um, all right. We're going to go ahead and uh, go from Washington, D.C. to Ontario, Canada, and I should have checked to see if you were ready first, but uh, let's do a quick sound check because next up, our next performer is Cassie McCoy. Cassie, what is up? Are you are you here with us? Hey, yes, I'm here. All right, it sounds good so far. I don't sound like a robot this week. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. All right. Let's let's hope it stays that way. Okay. Um. I'm going to start with a very cheesy poem, but it's fine. Um, it's called Com Communal Embers. <clears throat> Do you remember what it feels like to exchange secrets under the canopy of a dimly lit blanket fort in the middle of the night, knowing that they would be received as though they were part of a shared tapestry? Do you remember no the knowing deep inside you're an integral part of we that if you slipped away a puzzle piece would have fallen out of place do you remember what it is like to enter mm -hmm. sorry oh no uh sorry one second my phone is giving me trouble this is not good timing uh okay all right i'm sorry okay uh, do you remember what it is like to enter a room knowing that you are home among 
familiar faces that your presence adds another log to the communal fire? What if I told you that wherever you go, you carry the kindling with you and the flint to ignite belonging wherever bodies meet? Okay, so some less cheesy stuff as long as my phone is cooperating. It's doing something I've never seen before. Um, okay, I'm going to ignore that for now and hope it's fine. Um, okay. This next one is called... Oh, gosh. Okay, so I just, just give me one moment. I want to make sure that my phone's not about to die. Let's hope. Okay, sorry, one second. This is terrible. It's all right. If you want, I can add. I can add. Um, yeah, if you could do like sus- suspenseful music, <laughs> the background. I'll be better. No, not that music. Not that suspenseful music. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get copyrighted. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, all right. It seems to be okay. Here we go. Uh, tantalizing taste buds. Taste changes everything. Something so sweet and subtle to the eye that draws you in with its pastel shapes may transform into a myriad of things once it hits your tongue. Boldly bitter, starkly sour, strangely savory. If you're lucky, you will find them oddly palatable in the right light, the right mood. Even the molecules that tantalize taste buds receptive to the bite of bitter may be welcoming, strikingly alluring. Sometimes even the rough edges leave a sweet, vibrant lingering on your tongue, even days later. Okay. And I have another odd one here. There's some odd ones that I've written recently. Um. Uh, this is called Looking for Hedge Clippers after Richard Sykin. A <clears throat> man walks into a bar, and the bar grows another vine. A man walks into a bar, and it fills with all his tangled greenery. A man walks into a bar, and all his green weight is with him. A man walks into a bar asking for hedge clippers. A man sits down at a bar, his arms tied with thick verdant string. A man longs at a bar with the elixir free his hands to make them autonomous again. And the bartender says, I don't think whiskey will unfurl you quite the way that you hope. Okay, Uh, I believe another one here i don't know why they're so weird this week but these all been written in the last like week and a half so apparently i'm on a weird kick okay um um okay so i have one more original um just one moment okay this is called complete beauty origin of every transformation is messy so much debris so many pieces to find a home for to arrange just so that new shapes can take their form there may be shrapnel in the process of progress sometimes the hands of the transformed will sting from acquainting the new sharp edges a slew of tiny cuts Sometimes blood leaves its mark, but please remember, disintegration, reintegration, all may look like undue chaos before complete beauty emerges. Okay, um, so so I have for originals, I was going to do cover poem or two, perhaps? Yeah, you still can. What did you sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Oh yeah, you you still can. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. Um Unearthing by Miko Harvey. Sometimes at night I go to the pond, which is a perfect circle, and as soon as I arrive, the gazelle is there too. 
standing directly across the water, and as soon as I take a step towards it, it takes a step away, and when I run, it echoes my run, and when I stop, it also stops, such that the two of us never get any closer or further from each other. We are just balanced there, two shapes in starlight, so I don't run anymore when I visit the pond. I just sit down in crisp grass, and if I wait like that for a while then, the gazelle messes up its long legs and sits down, which is a fine feeling, being at ease together, never having known each other's fur. Okay. Um, and then I have another cover poem, uh, called Family Stories by Dorian Locks. <clears throat> I had a boyfriend who told me stories about his family. When an argument once ended when his father seized a lit birthday cake in both hands and hurled it out a second story window. That, I thought, was what a normal family was like. Anger sent out across the sill, landing like a gift to decorate the sidewalk below. Uh, in mine, it was fists and direct hits to the solar plexus. Nobody ever forgave anyone. But I believed the people in his stories really loved one another, even when they yelled and shoved their feet through cabinet doors or held a chair like a bottle of cheap champagne christening the wall, rungs exploding from their holes. Mm. I said it sounded harmless, the plop, flirt, fury of passion. Uh, sorry, the fury of the passionate. He said it was a curse being born Italian and Catholic, and when he looked from the window, what he saw was the moment rudely crushed. But all I could see was a gorgeous three-layer cake gliding like a battered ship down the sidewalk, the smoking candles broken, sunk deep in the icing, still you burning. Okay, so that is all I have for poems. Um, guess I will um, mention uh, starting uh, to facilitate a new workshop uh, called Bound to Temporary Spaces. Uh, it starts Wednesday, April 9th. Um, again, it's another uh, series. Mm -hmm. It runs for five weeks. Um, centers around the theme of uh, connection to and disconnection from places. Uh, so we're going to be looking largely at uh, poems that explore feeling connected to or longing to feel more connected to nature. Um, but we're also going to look at poems that explore, uh, like kind of lament about urban sprawl and explore feeling disconnected from cities and also connected to cities. Um, so all centering around a place. Uh, if you are curious about it, you can go to my Instagram at Relentless Entry. Um, and I'll also put the sign up form in the document if you want some more information about it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Richie. And thank you, everyone. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much, Cassie. And uh, of course, I'm glad you were able to plug that. Um, I will vouch for that. I've been, I've been going to them and I've kind of liked some of the stuff I've been writing on that. Uh, there's definitely stuff that I will edit and continue to bring out to these, uh, mics. Um, yeah. All right. So I went and found, uh, something since it's poetry month, I'm going to do something very, um, <laughs> embarrassing. And, uh, I'm going to share writing that I did in high school because I found, I've done this before, but uh, I guess there's enough new people that this is new. Uh, this is my high school's literary journal. Um, this is when I was a senior, and I had a couple of poems and a short story published in this. Um, and you know how it always is, going back and finding old writing. So that's that's my uh, that's my preamble <laughs> and warning, or I guess my caveat there. Um, but we've all kind of, especially in high school, you know, like if you ever had that breakup. It's always kind of interesting when you have to like see that person in the hallways again. So that's what this one's about. <clears throat> you shot lasers at me through your distance, distanced glance. 
I can't say that. Wow. You shot lasers at me through your distance glance. I evaded. You set up landmines where we once walked. I slipped wide through. I was met with harsh words covered in barbed wire. I endured. And despite the erosion that left me breathless, I persevered and remained unaffected. Right. Damn. There's a couple more in here, but uh, yeah, this is kind of cool to still have, honestly. Um, all right. So I'm going to read a cover poem and then two, two of mine again. Uh, this is from Liz Liano. I found her chat books recently. So I have two of them. This one, something good to eat. Pretty awesome. And a few things I remember. So. And Liz does a lot of great shows in Las Cruces. She's also officially the our, our BWAMS host in Las Cruces. So it's great to have her on the team. And she's made it to this space a few times. So this one's called Like This. <clears throat> so you need to pull your heart out first, okay? Make sure the blood gets all over you. Don't wipe the blood off. That's how they know you're alive. Make sure they see. That way, the other people with their hearts out can find yours. Put it in your arm. Wear it like this. No, don't put it away. You'll need it. It's going to hurt really bad, but don't put it back in. It might rot. Just dust it off. Give it time. It'll be okay. Yeah, that's normal. The deep holes. You need a doctor, a heart doctor. I know this sounds crazy, but the only way to heal a heart is by ripping it all the way open. We have to see what got inside. No matter what, you got to hold it open. Like this. Listen to the rhythm. Sometimes it leaks, but from your eyes. That's good. That means it's so full it had to get stuff out. Sometimes your heart gets a little tired from being full and emptied so much. Just hold it in your hands for a bit. Like this. Paint, cry, laugh, remember things. Like when you were 10 and your brother would put you on the side of his bike and ride down to the park. Your heart likes that. And never ever tell your heart any mean things like you are too soft, too weak, too fragile. Because soft hearts may be too soft to break, but it'll slow to a whisper in your hands. I know sometimes you'll want to put your heart deep inside your chest where it's safe like this but trust me you'll want it out here in the open outside otherwise you'll miss the fireworks and spring rain and riding with the top down here just hold your heart out like this and that is liz lizard king all right and finally two of mine um which if you've been here before you've seen before or heard before i guess in the air. Can you dig it? These soft, syrupy syllables of sweet and sonic, tonic, a saxophonic and savory strings dipped in melodic prose. This is midnight music. A little something to dance to. Behold, this tapestry of creation and destruction. It's the folding and unfolding of the cosmos and the breath of a moment. These are songs to hold on the tip of your tongue, as if sung from celestial vagabond bloomings of bent around the street corner or nowhere else but tomorrow. Don't ingest the smoke. There's so much more in the air, like music. See, we're running on empty, the moon is near full. We've got the whole night ahead of us and just enough fuel as origami dreams of the heart take flight. Having never before believed so much in the potential of a horizon. Carve your name into sidewalks. Etch your essence into the secret passageways of underground cities. Look for those hidden corridors that keep and hold the secret blues of desolation, angels, Solemn, happy in their otherworldly glow of existence. He will walk down the crossroads and explore those chords of resistance. We're all students to the sounds of a Monday night. 
or any other. Everything else is embellishment. We succumb to the late night mellow beats of infinite theoretical musings. This all too big world grows heavier in the hearts of poets with hungry eyes, always looking for more, for one more note. Okay, I almost threw my, my mouse off of my desk again. <laughs> That's not how the poem ends. Uh, of the mouse being thrown off, that is. Uh, last one. This one's called Musica Mestiza. And it's a little, it's a little cameo from a character from one, 100 Years of Solitude. Um, but in this case, he's a musician. All right. If Melchiades were a merengue musician, what kind of chord progressions would he throw down and leave to be deciphered in the dance steps of lovers? Hands to waist, eye to eye, time and seek to a two, four beat. Would he take a split second during a rest to gaze beyond the bell of his horn and come to focus his gaze on the mystic whirlwind of lovers intertwined in the moment? It's a syncretic soundscape living beyond the sound, a scuffle of leather. Swish of fabric, skin hitting skin, click of valves, and a trumpet's blare stretched out into a ribbon of sound would throw a heel, embrace merengue so freely if he was forced to celebrate the dark sounds of its African lineage. Musica mestiza. It is the supreme sound and the sacred silence. Play away, Melchiades. Play away. Okay. That's all I have today. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to look for. Um, oh, Sue is Sue in the house? We can add Sue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Th that's this is one of the business we call a stall tactic. You know, I'm like, all right, I got some poems from high school that I'm gonna read. Here's some other throw. Out. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm I'm being silly and uh, self. Uh, um. Anyway, hey, good to see you guys here at the online mic. Uh, Sue is in the house. Uh, Busy Monday night, online shows and events. <laughs> we glad you made it through. Um, joining us from Tucson. Awesome. Well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, if you're ready, let's <laughs> go ahead and <laughs> welcome <laughs> Sue Schnitzer back on the mic. Good to see you again. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, yeah, I am in Tucson. I have no idea how this sounds because I haven't used this mic for a while. Um, I guess I'll start with the song and then I'll end with a poem. So I'll do the opposite of what I'm comfortable doing. Um, yeah, I was at a bluegrass jam, so I'm kind of trying to slow my brain down. So this is a song I wrote about a month ago and I've been wanting to play it for you guys. So um, it's kind of one of those songs about where I am in my life. A good place.
Okay, uh, I think it's called Peace in Me. Um, so I'm going to write a short thing I wrote today because it's April 1st and April Fool's Day and, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> One, it's April 1st, also known as April Fool's Day. This year, it's the day after Easter a banking holiday in the UK. April 1st, the White House Easter egg roll is today. Hopefully it isn't rainy and windy there like it is here in Tucson. April 1st, the start of National Poetry Month, 30 days of celebrating the emotional value of words. April 1st, 2024. This year it's a Monday. The first day of what they call the month of growth. It welcomes me to cold, warm, wet, dry spring. Two, I don't want to be an April fool. I don't want to be anyone's fool. I don't want the joke to be on me. It's April 1st, the start of a month. A day on the calendar, another 24 hours of my life that I can survive and live until midnight when it will be replaced by another day. That's how calendars and time work. That's all I've got for tonight. Thanks, you guys. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, do you want to promote anything? I know you have your YouTube channel, social media, anything else? Um, yeah, I do have YouTube. It's, what is it, YouTube slash ampersand music by Sue. And I have a sub stack. I'll put that link in the chat, I guess. It's a little harder to, to say and spell out. But thank you. And thanks for letting me show up late and just jump on and do my <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course that was a beautiful song and i love the poem too uh, <laughs> i love it uh, perfect for the occasion and absolutely thank you sue thank you thanks guys cool all right so that is our list we're done Siakovo. i'm just kidding we have uh Very that's my funny, that's my april fool's joke next up we can't we can't end an open mic without having dan come on so dan are you ready yeah, yeah. Let's get this thing over with. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Feisty. Um, alrighty then. So uh, here, here to help us bring in Poetry Month and April Fool's Day. Let's welcome the one, the only Dan the man. Take it away when you're ready. Yeah, you see this? Um, uh, yeah, I know I know it's kind of April Fool's joke, but this is like from uh uh 
uh, I can't remember. It's from the anime show. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> so what was your name again? <laughs> it was kind of weird, but yeah, kind of like an April Fool's joke. But, but speaking of April Fool's, you see these words? Well, it, doesn't, it looks like poetry, but it's kind of like an April Fool's joke. And speaking of, yeah, we started... Yeah, but I think I don't, I think I'm not going to do any of this anymore. Ha, <laughs> kidding. Yeah. Oh my, boy, that's the bidding. <laughs> yeah, so let me see if I can find something. Hmm. Yeah, no wonder it's kind of, no wonder April Fool's a joke, but who can we poke? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you're dead broke. It looks like you're throwing something with an egg yolk. Oh, that's fun. Hmm. <laughs> No wonder it's a pun. It's a cloud of smoke. You go for broke. You yeah, oh, holy smokes! I need a diet coke, and and yes, no poison oak. But that but this ain't no joke. But what do you mean? Well, it's just like you, just like you lean. Well, it's something something to poke. It's always an April Fool's joke. <laughs> yeah, and yes, speaking of poetry, yes. This is like this is the poetry. It is here, not near. Is here, cause April is National Poetry Month. Yeah, <clears throat> that's all it's done. Oh, that's Death Note. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I was trying to find out. It's, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. What was your name again? <laughs> yeah. All right. And yes, April April is here. Besides April Fool's Day, but but April National Poetry Month is here. And second of all, yeah, very funny. And second of all, tomorrow is is Autism Awareness Month. And this ain't no April Fool's joke. Yeah, this is the this ain't no April Fool's joke. Just let you guys know. Uh, tomorrow, light it up blue. And yeah, where the stars go blue. And yep, it's always a clue that help becoming the autism awareness. And that is you. Well, <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. And always light it up blue. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow is autism awareness day. And what can we say? Light it up blue. And yeah, and throughout April is autism awareness month as well. So. All right. So, again, uh, Dan the Man's Weekly currently on hiatus. I'm still catching up. We'll keep you posted. All right. And yes, happy National Poetry Month. I can't wait. I'll see if I could be at the. I'll see if I could be at the open mic tomorrow for because I know a lot. I know besides Poetry Month, I know Autism Awareness Month is is here. So Autism Awareness Day is tomorrow. And yes, it's all day. What can we say? It's autism awareness at day. So, yes, time to be awareness. What can we say? Okay. All right. And yes, this, yeah, this is, you think Death Note is a joke, but this, this is, this is kind of like a poke. What an April Fool's joke on the Death Note poke. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I uh, hope to see. Hope I think I'll try to be there tomorrow for for Autism Awareness Month for a day. <laughs> what can I say? All right. Thank you very much. Okay, Richie. Let's go ahead and call it a night. Richie. Sorry, I froze for a moment there. Dan. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> whew, appreciate that, Dan. Thank you so much for for reading and uh, um, for spreading that awareness. Uh, I those are my favorite poems of yours, actually. When you read them at the open mics, so if you get a chance to make it out to one this this month, that'd be really cool. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and come back here. Shout out to everyone. I was. caught in a little bit of a free i'm just kidding i don't know that was that was suggested to me at the end here through message so i thought i'd try a, a fake freeze but uh i think i blinked a couple times it doesn't really I'm not <laughs> <a good> <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
I wondered what would happen if we all pretended to be frozen <laughs> and Dan was just there. <laughs> looking yeah, crazy. I did my best. I don't know if it translated to the YouTube channel, though. So no, I, I, my, I don't know. No. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, thanks to Sandy for sticking around in the chat and hanging out with us. Uh, everyone who checked it out. Again, if you're an EPCC student, um, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram, Barbara Open Mic Series, or you can also find me through the school directory. You can just look up my last name, Marufo. I teach English. There at the college, if you need that, the handle passport credit. Otherwise, hey, we'll be we'll be here next Monday. Um, uh, I'll try and post the sign up sheet or the uh, list for that next Monday, as early as Saturday or Sunday, so the weekend before. Um, and we will see you guys next time for the online open mic. My name is Richie David Madrufo, MC and host, and we'll see you next time uh, for the open mic. Let's go ahead and some of us are gonna hang out after, as always.